Now, Florida's come a long way from botch recounts and six-hour voting lines and butterfly ballots that tricked Democrats into voting for Pat Buchanan. But after celebrating the success of our voting process in 2020 and citing it as a model for the rest of the nation. The most transparent and efficient election anywhere in the country. Governor DeSantis and Republican lawmakers now want to change the process to specifically make voting by mail less convenient. A bill that cleared through a Senate panel would cancel all of the requests for mail ballots that people have already made for the next statewide election. People would have to figure out first that their request for a mail ballot has been canceled and then request a mail ballot again and then hope they don't pass another law to cancel it again before the ballot arrives. I think we should be extra careful about making changes that might mess things up, honestly. The bill also limits requests in the future from two election cycles down to one. And voters would lose the option of dropping off their mail ballot in a secure drop box at election offices and designated early voting sites. It specifically bans the election supervisors from using the drop boxes. Taking away safe and secure drop boxes makes absolutely no sense unless you're looking for ways to suppress the vote. The sponsor of this legislation, State Senator Dennis Baxley, who also is sponsoring the plan to gut bright future scholarships, says that it all comes down to this. And that sometimes we come up here and pass too much. That may have been the wrong clip. He said it all comes down to this. Why can't we take something that's working well and put guardrails on it and keep it safe? By that, he means he wants to prevent mail ballot fraud, though he could not or did not cite any examples or evidence of the existing process or the drop boxes contributing to fraud. And so that's, it's not that there was a debacle and we, so we have to fix it. Do we have to wait for a debacle? Well, to his point, DeSantis' predecessor, Governor Scott, didn't wait for a debacle when he cut back on early voting days in 2012. He cut back on the early voting days first and then got the debacle in the form of six-hour lines on Election Day. What went wrong? Why did, it, why did we have long lines? When the legislature made it harder for people to vote under former Governor Scott, a state senator named Mike Bennett, now Manatee County's election supervisor, kind of said the quiet part out loud. This should not be easy. When he said this should not be easy, he meant voting, that it should not be easy for us to vote. This is a hard-fought privilege. This is something people died for. And you want to make it convenient? And by that, he meant voting should not be easy for us in elections, as opposed to the double standard they have in passing the bills. Look at this. They give themselves this loosey-goosey honor system in which lawmakers often vote in other lawmakers' names, sometimes when the absent lawmakers are out of town and sometimes without their permission. Yes, this happens a lot. Former lawmakers like Mike Fasano say they've seen it. More than a hundred times, I would imagine. Votes without permission. Yes. I, in fact, saw a non-member <laughs> hit someone's button. And I thought, oh my gosh, has it gotten that bad? And we've seen it. A few years ago, we caught the current Senate budget chief, Kelly Stargell, voting for her colleague, making it look as if she was still at work. I can understand how they may say that it looks sloppy. When Stargell's colleague was actually on the other side of the state, telling us work let out early. The business of the Senate concluded early today. And here's a former Republican senator voting and then voting again in the name of an absent Democrat who happened to have been out of town for his mother's funeral. From the outside looking in, it can look very bad. Which brings us back to Senator Baxley's bill to cancel requests for mail ballots that are already on the books and to ban the drop boxes. And that sometimes we come up here and pass too much. Republicans who once led the push to expand mail-in voting and once dominated in vote-by-mail returns are now leading the push to reel in the vote-by-mail requests as more Democrats are now making their requests. This really ha has been uh, an eye-opening experience for Republicans who in the past had really uh, led the, the idea of registering voters by mail. Democrats are now uh, moving ahead. Well, those who may suspect Republican lawmakers have political motives might say what better a way to wipe out the advantage Democrats have in ballot requests that voters have already made than to wipe them out and make them start over. And what better a way to cater to voters who still believe former President Trump's false claims the election was stolen due to unsubstantiated claims of mail ballot fraud. Governor DeSantis is positioning himself. He knows that this is a really important issue to a lot of Republicans. But this is also a very important issue to the Republicans who manage our elections. I am very disheartened. Every single supervisor of elections, 67, all 
oppose this bill, strongly oppose this bill. Because election supervisors across the aisle say the system and process we have is safe and secure. Ballot drop off locations here in Pinellas, we've been using them for, for, like I said, for over 11 years without incident, and they are a convenience to our voters. Florida Republicans may think this can help them politically because many more Democrats requested mail ballots last year than Republicans. But that may have been because the Republican candidate vilified mail-in voting and the Democratic candidate praised it. And because statistically more Democrats were more concerned about voting in person during a pandemic. But historically, Republicans have dominated Florida by outperforming Democrats in voting by mail. In 2018, more than 50,000 more Republicans voted by mail, which incidentally helped Governor DeSantis win by the skin of his teeth. In time, reeling in mail voting could backfire on Republicans. But again, election managers from both parties say that's not the point because they say this is an issue that's bigger than politics. There are no procedures in Florida um, that have changed that would require this, as far as I'm concerned, unnecessary change. Add this to the list of striking changes that could catch voters by surprise, especially when those who requested ballots figure out why they didn't show up.